I am Dal Calhoun and I'm a fisherman who is also an artist. So every time I want to make a project or a painting or anything, it has to be a fish that always seems to sneak into it no matter what, because that is where my passion always goes. I really started doing actually aquarium fish of all things. I used to keep a lot of aquariums with a lot of fish and then I wanted to try to make the different fish outside of the aquarium. So that was how the artwork started. And then as I became more and more into fishing and less into aquariums, then you know, I started doing more of the game fish and that's when it became more challenging to make. I've always done artwork. I haven't always been an artist, I don't think. I've just always always wanted to putter and always wanted to do something. I always liked the making things was, was the part I enjoyed the most. I started from the Midwest, so I did you know, I started out doing a lot of the, the basses and the northerns and, and things like that. And a few trout, not too many where I was at. But when it came down here the addiction really set in strongly with the snook and the redfish and the trout. I mean, they really, it's, they're very passion-inspiring fish, so they grab you. Um, but I pretty much, I love just about any fish, so I don't mind, you know, if it's, if it's an angelfish from an aquarium or an angelfish from the ocean. It doesn't really matter to me what kind it is. Um, I just like the challenge of making a fish. It generally starts with the pattern, you know, you're just trying to figure out, do I, do I want to try to represent an action fish or do I just want to represent the species, which is normally all you want to do is just get the species represented. So you start with a pattern and you get to cut the fish out of wood, cut the fins up, a lot of sanding, which is the boring part, and then you, a lot of undercoats and primers. And then finally you get to the to where you can brush it. I mean, when you can use the airbrush, and that's the part that's the exciting part. That's where it starts to come to life. I'm a topwater freak. I uh, will throw a topwater for at least an hour and a half before I finally give up and go to a jig. I just, I love the bite. I don't even care about catching the fish. I just want to see that explosion on the water surface. I don't like the taste of fish. I can't stand the taste of fish, so I don't eat any of them. Couldn't tell you what one of them tastes like. Pretty much just going back. My wife loves the redfish, so I'll bring one home for her every now and then, but most of the, all the rest of them, they just swim away to be caught again tomorrow. <laughs> A picky eater, yeah. Yeah, there aren't many restaurants that, that appeal to me because, you know, I just like a basic burger and fries and that's it, I'm done. Favorite species? Um, whichever one's biting. No, honestly, probably trout because they're, they're the most dependable. They're going to be out there. They're willing to knock a lure eight inches out of the water. And they're kind of easy to catch, so, you know, you can always find them. I mean, I like redfish for the fight. I love jacks when they're big. I love big jacks for the fight. The trout is... I mean, they're always around. You can almost always find them, and they're willing to hit just about anything, so that's probably why they're my favorite. They're also beautiful. My favorite commission work so far is for a friend of mine in New York, and he has a good friend of his that he grew up with, and they like to give each other rather expensive gag gifts, actually. And he said, my friend thinks he's Mr. Fisherman. Will you make me a bass that's this big? And I'll send it up to him as a gift. And and he did, he really wanted a four foot bass. And that one there is, was three feet. That was the first one. That one wasn't big enough. He wanted a bigger one. So it was just fun to make a bass that was four foot large. And, and we shipped it and packaged it and we sent it up to New York. And the guy's face, I mean, his jaw dropped and his smile was about 10 feet wide. So that was a perfect one. My dream gig, my dream gig, I guess from here is to just keep making as many fish as I can. And then eventually I want to figure out as a and make more and more pieces. I wanted to get more animated. I like. I would love to capture an actual tarpon jumping that looked like a tarpon jumping, um, so that every fisherman, when they saw it, would just be like, "Oh yeah, I know exactly what that is," and they would feel it. I want. I want to make something that makes the guys feel it or makes them smile. I like to make people smile when they walk by my booth. If they crack a grin, I'm all right. Then I feel I've done my job. <laughs>